here are 15 expert approved WooCommerce tips and tricks that'll make you ask yourself, wait, why haven't I tried this before? We came up with this list after consulting WordPress experts on X, formerly Twitter, and scouring the web for the coolest little known hacks. But before I begin, be sure to leave your favorite tips and tricks in the comments so we can all continue to learn from each other. Well, obvious to some, many people don't use or even know about the official WooCommerce mobile app. Rather than logging into WordPress from your mobile browser, which is not optimized, you can use the WooCommerce mobile app while you're on the go. It handles day-to-day -day operations nicely, but it's also great for viewing analytics, taking in-person payments, and managing multiple stores. Plus, you get notified for every sale with a little celebration. One user wrote, The app is awesome, and every time we get a purchase, it has the best notification. It celebrates every order like a fiesta. So fun to have. This one comes from HostWP on X, and it's very straightforward. Make sure you resize product images to the exact dimensions required by your theme before you upload them. This prevents unnecessary resizing by the browser, which can slow down page loading, which often results in fewer sales. There are countless tools for this, but it's easier to go with a desktop app with batch processing capability rather than a browser-based option to speed up your workflow. Another option is the short pixel plugin, but there are plenty of other competitors available as well. Tip number three, use the add to cart parameter. X user Peter Wisht mentioned a cool trick. You can add products to the cart using the add to cart parameter in a web URL. So you can create custom product links. For example, if you wanted to email a customer a special link with a certain product already added to the cart, then you can use the add to cart parameter. Just be sure to test each link before you send it out. This is another quick tip from the same user. There's an actions column that's hidden by default in the orders list. You can enable it with screen options, and then you can use it to mark orders as completed with just a single click. If you don't like the default store page layout, then there are a few ways you can modify it. The one that I wanna focus on today uses our WooCommerce product table plugin. Once you install the plugin, you can completely transform the shop page into a customizable table layout, which comes with filters, quantity pickers, variation dropdowns, and add to cart buttons. This means that you now have a quick order form that customers can use to quickly add items and check out. I'll leave a link below for those of you who want to check it out further. I recently made a video about bulk editing products, which you can find in the cards up here. In that video, I talked about the default bulk editing options and the lack of options for editing separate variations. You can get yourself a plugin like WooCommerce Bulk Variations to make quick and easy changes to entire sets of variations, such as a price change for all of your extra large clothing items, or you can update the thumbnail of just one color in all sizes. When I consulted our own team of WordPress professionals at Barn2, the first thing they said was always use global attributes when dealing with product variations. Go to products and attributes to set up new attributes like colors and sizes that can be applied globally to all future product variations. You'll thank yourself later when you don't need to recreate product specific ones each and every time you add a variable product. And even better, if you're using a filter plugin like WooCommerce product filters, for example, then these attributes can be used to filter items and allow customers to find them even easier. Tip number eight, WooCommerce has a built-in handy feature that's really underrated, but it's the quickest way to increase your average order values. I'm talking about upsells and cross-sells. To add upsells, go to a product that has an upsell opportunity, one where you have a better or more profitable product you'd rather have them buy from you. Scroll down to product data and click on linked products. Add the better product as an upsell option in the box here. You can also use the second box here to add cross-selling options. This works best for products that are frequently bought together, such as a coffee machine and coffee mugs. Tip number nine, using the new checkout block. WooCommerce has a new checkout block as of version 8.3. You can replace the old shortcode with the block-based checkout, and it comes with some much needed upgrades. This includes an express checkout option, a more logical flow for filling in payment information, and a really nice UI for selecting alternative shipping options, such as home delivery or local pickup. It even supports multiple locations. And if you have a compatible extension, it supports listing parcel lockers or local shipping options as well. 
Tip number 10. Some of you may know that there's a popular tool called SamCart, which costs at least $79 a month to have a cart and checkout anywhere on your site. But thankfully, there are two much cheaper alternatives to this that you can set up in WooCommerce. The first option is to use our WooCommerce FastCart plugin. With it, you can have a floating cart, which can pop out from the side or open in the center of the screen when shoppers select their items. You can also enable the checkout so it appears below the cart, effectively creating a one-page order form on all of your shopping pages. The other option, which was recommended by Patrice on X, is to use the checkout block I mentioned earlier and add it to a custom landing page. The only trick here is that you'll have to set up some custom add to cart buttons so the cart will reload once the items are added by the customer. A popular integration is to use the table plugin that I mentioned earlier with the new checkout block. And you can read more about this on our blog linked below. Tip number 11 is to create a loyalty program which rewards your best customers. I'll admit this does feel a little bit more generic than the other tips on this list, but I still think most of you could benefit from doing it. Look at any major retailer and they all have ways to reward their most loyal shoppers. You can do this with WooCommerce too in a number of different ways. One option is to give exclusive discounts to your members, people who have an account on your site, but you'll need a plugin to do this effectively, and I'd suggest WooCommerce Discount Manager. Learn more about this whole topic and how to set everything up in this video here. E-commerce comes with a huge increase in mail sending, so email hygiene is more important than ever. Ex-user Job Thomas had a great tip to add a mail logging plugin, such as WP Mail Logging, and I've linked that one below for you. And to avoid having your mail marked as spam, there are a few settings you need to get right. I've included a link to the official WooCommerce email documentation where you can follow their recommendations. And while I'm on the topic of email, I have one more bonus tip for you from Peter on X. Instead of manually emailing customers with updates, you can send emails to customers from the dashboard. To do this, just use the note to customer option in the order notes box. Not many people know this, but the default flat rate shipping option has some advanced hidden features. You can configure flat rates based on the quantity of items in a cart or a percentage of the total order costs. Additionally, when you use percentage-based shipping fees, you can set minimum and maximum shipping costs to ensure that you never charge too little or too much for shipping. You need to write a formula to set this up. For example, if you want to charge your customers a $10 standard flat rate plus $2 for each item in their cart, in the cost field, write this formula. Read more about these formulas using the link provided below. And to give credit to the X user who helped us a lot with this video, check out Peter's free plugin that helps to simplify shipping rates. You'll find it linked below. Here's a quick one. You can automate nearly every step of the order fulfillment stage with the help of plugins like shipment tracking for WooCommerce or aftership tracking. These plugins integrate with shipping providers to give customers real-time order status updates, keeping everyone in the loop and happy. And tip number 15 is to dig into your analytics. First off, you can fine tune what data you're seeing by going to analytics, settings, and updating the available options. Then obviously you need to analyze your store's performance. You can then identify areas for improvement and make data-driven decisions. I have a bonus tip for you as well. You can get rid of those boring dropdowns for variations that come with Woo by default. Instead, consider using the WooCommerce Product Options plugin for a more dynamic and immersive way for customers to choose whatever variations they want. Here are some examples of websites that our plugin customers have already created using WooCommerce Product Options. It's a great way to add variety to your products and allow customers to really get what they want. And would you believe my final tip for you today is to subscribe to our channel so you can learn more about building your business with WordPress. And if you like saving time, check out this video next. And of course, thanks for watching.